So, um, let's have a look. So I've just ground the edges to a, uh, let's see if we can see it from under here. There, so you can see that I've uh, ground the edges to sort of a double bevel on both sides. Taken uh, absolutely ages, over an hour. Still got it done, I better sweep up so I made a right mess. Look how much mess it makes. And this isn't even all of it. This is just what I can quickly scoop up to make it not quite so horrible in here. Right, now a uh, friend of mine watched um, the previous video and he said a really sensible thing, which was, why didn't you just turn the tower around and you could have sat inside and had a test? Good idea. So I'm going to do that now. If I can get this up here. I could use the crane, but it, uh, the hoist, but I can't quite get get it hooked on easily. Uh, oh, I probably can. I'm just being lazy. Ah, just both it up there. No point in this whatsoever. None at all. Other than me. Having a look at it, uh, probably ought to just tie that up somehow. Right, so now if somehow it spins around, it's not going to fall off. This is, this is my pretend seat. That on. Been in JDB, except smaller. Okay, so now I know that I've shown this a few times, uh, probably seven, because this is the seventh one I've done, but I'm doing this one a slightly different way. And instead of uh, when I'm turning the bore out, what I was doing before was coming down a across the face of the bore here. Um, in a, like a half a millimeter cut all the way along uh, and it was producing these like um, really stringy razor wire type thing and I, I could go at a faster feed rate but what I've done I've found is that if I'm if I go in at like a really aggressive cut like that's one round with the wheel which is uh, two millimeter I think cross slide five millimeter that's five millimeter off diameter so I'm going to go about there what's that I reckon that's about a three millimeter depth of cut there let's just see I've got my um, clock on here just to make sure I haven't got any creep and let me just set that back So that, I think, that's about a three millimeter cut-ish. And then I've got a feed rate of zero point, uh, what am I on yet? Yeah. 0.08 and a speed of 108 RPM. So uh, working that out, let's just say it's 100 RPM. So for every turn of the spindle, I go in 0 0.008. 
So in a minute, if it's gone around 100 times, that is eight millimeter. So for every, min every minute, it's gonna go down eight millimeter. Um, what am I talking about? Just get on with it. Now, if I go too deep, it chatters. You can hear it's itching to chatter, but that's way better. I'm getting a really deep cut. I'm getting better chips. And overall, this is much faster. And the, the chips are a lot easier to control and not as dangerous. You can see the... Uh, the difference between the razor wire chips and my new chips. Oh, I don't know, I thought it was interesting. break these edges and then I've got to turn this final space down to dimension. Right, so I've tidied up. Um, I'm just going to have to leave that because I haven't got any boxes or anything to put it in, but it's quite amazing really. That was all in one view. That's all out of one viewport. Or is it? Did I do something else? Might have done something else, I can't remember. Right, back to this. I know I've shown this before, but this is the last one. So um, I've, I've clocked it in, so it's back in position. I've had the machine set, left set up since I did the last one. So I've got a load of jobs stacked up that I need to use this Miller machine for. But um, anyway, let's just quickly get, them up, get on with drilling these. I don't think I even spot drilled them in the end. I can't remember exactly how I did it. Uh, I think I just went for it. Right, so I've made the final one. Um, yeah, that's so those are the, all four viewports ready for the tower to go in. What I need to do now is order some um, end caps. Uh, so I've got to get the end caps and the uh, the hatch disc dish, and that that, that those are the last um, the last main bits of the hull of the fabrication parts anyway. And then I get this tag. I've got to get these in. So I need to just tap and uh, tap these out. I think, yeah, one of them is done. Um, so I've got to do three. Get those tacked in, welded in, get some end caps ordered, get it all assembled. So I did manage to get my support boat in the water so I can do some diving with JDB this summer. 